Alright, good morning. My plan today is to install an AWE intake and O34 strut tower brace. This is our baseline, stock engine, stock everything. So I bought these parts used from my parts guy, Nemesis Auto Sport. Um, it's run by um, Mops or Ben. I've been buying all this used stuff off his S4. The BBSs I have, the, those were off his S4. These are two other parts. Um, but I wanted to get the, the strut tower brace in first and then we'll do the intake. The structure look pretty straightforward. 13 mil socket, bolt here. Here. Music. Shutter sock music. Rubber trim guard comes off. Rubber trim. All right, let's show what we're doing here. So there was a 13 mil bolt here. Same thing on the other side. 13 mil, we remove those. Move the rubber gasket. And then in the back is those two bolts, also 13 mil. So we're gonna get those off now. For size comparison, the 34 versus the factory. Obviously, it weighs a lot. It weighs more. Looks better. Okay, parts are off. We're going to swap some hardware. What we're doing here is we got to swap over. I put this in together. I don't think it's separate, so this may not work. Take a little sidetrack. So we got the cover off. It just pulls out. There are two T25 screws. The problem with the strut brace is like, there's, it goes in separate, the line's already built, and I can't get the freaking screws off. So, I have one side on, and I'm trying to see if I can't just, you know, I need, I just need this much, and I need a half inch just to get it over the, the knife, but I need to step away from that. Let's get a victory from the air and take it away. Okay, So that's our factory intake box. Oh, it doesn't look bad. 16,000 miles. Shutter stock music. It doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so. Oh, those are the screws for the thing. So here's our AWE carbon fiber intake. Is there a nameplate on it? I think there's a nameplate on it. Shutter stock. 
A little blemish on the back, that's okay. And that's where it sits on the bottom. Okay, so carbon fiber is the inlet. Air goes in there, goes to intake. Out of intake, into engine. Looks good. This thing's $900 retail. I wouldn't pay that. EW is expensive stuff. All right, so my problem with this the braces, I gotta set, I need to make up that distance and get it over that nut somehow without crying. Okay, let's pick this back up. I've been <laughs> struggling trying to get this thing on. It's finally there. So we've got two 13 mil bolts in the back. So all this is, all these three pieces would be separate, and then you'd be able to get it. Mine were combined. There's thread lock on these, which makes me believe that it's a thread lock on those, because I can, I can get them in blood. There's breaker bar, impact, so give up. So here's the second one. Okay, let's close this out. It takes on, strut brakes is on. The only problem I have is I stripped one of the screws so I have a mismatch of bolts. So order new ones when they come, I'll just I'll just swap the other one. But they're both on there, you know, it's functional. We're gonna go for a ride. Probably start it up now. But here, let's take a look at it. Okay, so AWE air gate intake. This is the you can get a door. There's a there's an optional door, it's like 110 retail. Um, so this does not have it, obviously. EWE. And then there's the strut tower brace. So it goes up and it connects back there. So there's a bolt up here, if you notice, mismatch and bolts. That's disappointing. So I have a new flathead one's coming, we'll deal with that, but it's on there, not too bad. I struggled, I struggled with getting both those holes to line up given it was already pre-assembled. You know, maybe if you do this the right way and, and everything comes disassembled, then it, it won't be such a headache, but all these, you know, pieces, especially with the one in the middle, Right, everything's kind of dependent on each other, so you gotta get it all to line up. I tried a bunch of different ways, loosening, tightening, jiggling, whatever. But, um, it's all on there. So here, let's see what it sounds like. Definitely some more 
some weeds is coming from it. But um, I'll have to check the paper. I want to say AWE claims like 15 horse at the crank. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it does anything for the butt dyno. But the car's dirty. We'll probably get it cleaned up um, before cars and coffee Saturday. So we'll probably do it tomorrow. But we're all set. Thanks.